my parents raised me to be very, very frugal. So, uh, hi mom, living in a van. Hopefully you're proud of me. <laughs> Can you imagine like Asian parents like, oh no, you disappoint me. I disown you. <laughs> my name is Sam and uh, I live in this big clunky metal thing. It's great. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my van tour. This is the closet, obviously, closed. This first drawer is essentially my accessories, and I call it my sexy drawer, so. <laughs> oh man, this is so stupid. Um, but essentially, anything to do with grooming. Second, I got anything to do with like cleaning myself and make sure I don't look like shit, I don't all smell like shit. Third one is my laundry drawers. The one in the back is essentially where I keep my dirty one. And then the front one here is one for the semi-dirty. You know that as guys, we have something called a semi-dirty clothes, where it's not quite dirty enough where you would do a laundry, but it's not quite clean enough where you would put it with your clean clothes. So it goes right there. This is where I keep all my spices, and this works better than a spice rack because I can just grab and go, and it doesn't move anywhere. One of my pictures right there. All my cooking stuff is here. And this is my junk drawers. Uh, it has a lot of things to do with like fixing the van and like all the little things. So junk drawers, just, you know, junk drawers. So underneath the junk drawers, I have my extra medical and camera gear. Next to it is a box where I put my propane tank. It's a 20 pound tank. So I have uh, plenty of those for cooking and I don't want to waste electricity on cooking because I literally cook every day. Moving on from this section of drawers to this section of drawers, I'm actually really proud of this one. But uh, the first one is just electronics, uh, nothing too crazy expensive. But the real kicker is this one right here. Um, this has a combination lock thing on it, so you have to put in a combination code for you to open it. So you twist it off, and then there is my hole camera section so this is where I keep all my valuables the locks they're not like you know bulletproof if someone really want to rip this shit open they'll bring a hammer and they'll break everything in the van and you know that's won't stop it but if someone were to like wander in my van and try and like look for some easy picked up they can't get into this one right here I'm just trying to prevent that like 90% of death that's are happening which is like mostly petty death I also have this outlet wired in so if you look inside you should there will be an outlet in there and that's where I charge all my camera stuff. So I don't bring my camera outside to charge. I can just keep them safe in here, locked up and charge. So the battery in here is all labeled. If it's full, I'll bring it back and then, you know, flip it so that when it's full, I know exactly that, okay, this one is good to go. Um, same as these flashes. So I can keep all my equipment charged and secure in the van. So this is a, like it's, feels much nicer that like no one can just like walk in here and just grab my you know ten thousand dollars equipment <laughs> uh, that would suck but anyway so close this lock that change the code good to go and then this one is just my big drawers um, it just have a bunch of shit in here more camera stuff down here uh, like video lights and I got my tactical stuff down here and pots and pans for cooking. I don't have that many because, well, I'm not trying to cook for a family. Got a small rice cooker here. I mean, this is like literally one of my favorite. It's really small, but it can at least cook to like two, three people. And a blender, all the good jazz. So the reason why I'm doing this van thing because it makes sense for me, at least for me. Uh, I'm a wedding photographer in Phoenix, Arizona, and I do a lot of destination weddings and elopements, like adventure elopements. So I do travel a lot, like in the winter, Phoenix is very nice and we're getting married here. So I'll just be in Phoenix doing wedding works. And then in the summer, when the weather is shitty and hot, I can just get up and move and just go travel and also do other destination works as well around the country because the weather gets really nice somewhere, everywhere else. But yeah, so that's why it makes sense for me and like my occupations and all the good jazz. This is my sink, um, it's a deep sink. So when I do dishes, the water is still splashed. 
but it doesn't splash as much, right? <laughs> and I can also put a bunch of shit right in here when I need to like make a quick go so it doesn't fall everywhere. And obviously there's a switch here for water pumps and for my LED lights. But got my essentially normal water and I got my filter water so I could get some clean water in here or just like doing dishes in here, just totally fine. And then this pivot outside, so if I need to rinse my feet off or take a shower, I don't know, ah, just waste some water. It just drains down to the gray water tank down here, or I have the option to drain it straight down to the bottom. Right, and then I got my speaker mounted up here because, well, it's it sounds super nice in here. So I just have it clipped to this side of the van. I know what it is. I can't operate without a clock in my living space. That's how it is. And this is the only productivity tools that I need, which is a post-it note. A real aloe plant, so in case I burn myself, I'll just kill one of this guy and then just like use it for, you know, burn treatment. Got an outlet right here, and then my salt lamp. This is for also like keep the moisture outside of van. This remote right here is magnetically mount to the side of van. You can just like turn these on. You can't see it right now because it's like super bright out. Ah, ah, just a little bit. Well, it looks really nice at night. Another thing is though, I don't like paying for hotels or rent. It's just kind of my thing. I'm Asian, so I'm like really cheap. <laughs> my parents raised me to be very, very frugal. So, uh, hi mom, living in a van. Hopefully you're proud of me. <laughs> She's happy for me though. <laughs> Can you imagine like Asian parents like, oh no, you disappoint me. I disown you. <laughs> yeah, I love my parent family and they love me, so we're good. We're all good. Good, happy family here. And then on the bottom of the sink right here, what I have is just, you know, a trash can. It goes right here. I can just take them off and just toss everything out, but it just kind of secure on right there. And also, you know, emergency toilet. So haven't used it yet, thank God, but like in the middle of the night, I can't find a restroom anywhere or I can't go outside and dig a hole. So hopefully I would never have to use that. This right here is what I used to do dishes with. So it's collapsible. So if you need to use it, you just prop this open like this and it just works for drying and all the good jazz. Let me show you the fridge. This is actually just a dorm fridge. It's not like domatic a thousand dollar fridge or anything because honestly, like those are way too expensive. And I don't know if it's worth the price to go with that much because I'm not sure how much more efficient they are. I figure I spent a hundred dollars here and then invest the money that I save into a better battery system or electrical system. So that's how I like to think about it. But anyway, so I have so much like room to put shit in here. Well, I mean, not a lot of room compared to a house, but to a van, I have a lot of shit. I can put like chicken, sausage, beer, vodka, uh, more vodka and more vodka. I'm just kidding. I don't have problems, I'm okay. It started three years ago. Uh, I kind of like want to do it. Like this is kind of cool. It's been in the back of my mind for a long time. But then a year ago, I actually pulled a trigger and got myself a van. I got this Ram ProMaster 3500 extended. So it's like literally the biggest one. It's a little bit too big to be honest with you. I don't think I need that much shit. Don't feel like RV because that shit's too clunky. And honestly, I don't know how to do that. back up a fucking trailer. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to do that. It's the most box bit, like construction out of all the different brands. So it's the easiest one to build. And it's also front wheel drive, so it's kind of easy to drive. Not gonna lie, it's not the prettiest van out there, but it makes sense and it's not the most expensive. This top cabinet here is for my plates, cups, and coffee maker. Pretty simple. Moving on to the rest of the upper cabinets here. I have just food, like rice, noodles, canned food, all the good jazz, spices, whatever. And then this, I got my supplement here, my books, and my uh, towel. So you know, protein powders, whatever. And then this upper cabinet, uh, this last upper cabinet here, I don't have anything in here right now because I really don't know what to put on here. On this side, this upper cabinet just have my clothes. Like this is literally all the clothes I own except the one in the closet, which is just my jacket and stuff. They just all fit into this like travel cubicle fitting thingy. And then I label them and I just stuff them in here. This one here is just my comforter. It, they all just, it just stuffed in here. One thing that I think makes sense, and I know it's not like the best for everybody, but having this convertible like dining, dining table into like a bed, 
make sense at least if and if you're not doing like mountain biking or something crazy this would make the most sense because it separates your bedtime and your work time so you're training your body to know like okay it's time to go to bed or like it's time to work and that way you become more you know, actually more productive as you can see um it's a table right here you can work and do whatever these pillars right here are what the table will you know support itself when i convert this to the bed mode um so essentially i would just have to unhook this drop them down and then it's good to go you guys want to see this convert to a bed mode okay Ugh. all right i'm going to bed <gasps> essentially yes i have to make my bed every day but guess what it's actually a good habit i should start doing just you know making my bed every morning and it's sort of like a routine per se and it's good to have some kind of structure when you live in a van it's a four inch thick memory foam you know master's topper not the most comfortable thing in the world but when you slept outside in the rain for two weeks in the army this is fucking kush <laughs> And you just let yourself sink in slowly. Also going with like barely any windows except the two in the back because I am going to be in like the metro like like Phoenix area six months a year so I really don't want to stand out and paint this whole shit fucking pink like you're drawing too much attention to yourself so just going with like a pretty bare minimum here But I did put a skylight at the top, so that gave me tons of natural lights and also keep me pretty discreet. And it doesn't have like these like big windows, you know, like you can like, oh, that, that's a camper van, someone's sleeping in there. Obviously this bright thing on top of me is a skylight. So I can open them and I can watch the stars when I'm laying down. Or I can close them because it's really bright out right now and kind of don't like this harsh light in my van. I'll just do that. Uh, these blinds, they're, they're, they're double layers, keeps the cool air in here and hot air outside or hot air in here and cool air outside. But on the inside, again, I'm going with like the IKEA kitchen cabinets because I'm not a carpenter, like I don't, I don't build stuff. I, I used to be a medic in the army, so I can fix people, but I, I can't fix shit. <laughs> sorry, sorry about a shitty sound quality. I'm on the side of the highway right now, but uh, this side right here underneath the bench, this one is holding my water. And this part here is holding my electrical. My plumbing doesn't cross onto my electrical system at all. Safety hazard. Filling water right here, so it's gravity fill. This is my fuse box. Anything has to do with anything electrical is going to go on this side right here. My camera backpack is hanging on this side. And this is my hiking backpack. I can throw some stuff on here to so be extra storage. But it looks fine hanging right there. I don't mind it. You know, when I was building this van, I thought a lot about, um, holy f I hate this. I hate my life. Why am I doing this? But honestly, it's been a big learning curve and it's been a fun, it's been a fun one. I had no idea how electricity worked. So if I can do it, you can definitely do it. I didn't have a garage. So it was a little bit challenging trying to like doing everything while I was living in an apartment, but it's doable. It just fucking sucked. <laughs> I actually had to like go to a friend's house a few times to like, get certain part of the van built there because it's such a big project like the, the ceiling it looks nice but it's the biggest pain in my fucking ass i got the ceiling from van life saga literally like stole their exact design there's something different about it just different color these back windows they have the blackout curtains on them so right now i'm just using magnets for them to just kind of hold them in place it's it kind of it works it's fine and then i'll just pull it over and then magnet good to go um it's also have these like bug nets or whatever thingy on them so i can like move this and it's just a scrim right here and then i can open it all the way so if you know my dog want to poke her head out of the window it can probably be right here and of course i got my pictures hanging up at the top still nothing right here though i probably could use these for some kind of storage unit but going as bare as possible and then figure out what works for you as you're living on a road would probably work best than taking advice from somebody online that 
might have a different lifestyle than you do. And then you'll probably be wondering, what is this box for? Well, it's a combination lock box. Punching a coat, that thing flip open. I can just grab whatever I need to grab. Yeah, so it's safe in here in the back. I can legally carry my banana with me. All seriousness, you you don't want to use that stuff. I was trained on these. Wouldn't suggest you have this in your van unless you actually know how to use it. Like, no, I don't want to use it. But if I do need it, it's there. On this ladder, used on Amazon for $150. I had to snack it. Like, I mean, people are spending mad money on ladder. Like $600, something $800, something crazy like that. I'm like, ah, fuck that. I might just play painted black in the future. But let me show you up what's up there. As you can kind of see here, this is the top of the van. Got a max air fan right there. And then I got four 100 watt. God, this is a horrible place to do a fucking video, eh? I got four 100 watt of solar panel on here. It keep everything charged. Got a deck right here that I built. These deck built onto the construction railing. They're not camping railings or anything like that. So on the outside, when you look at it, it looks like a construction truck, which is kind of nice. Skylight right here. And then I got the, uh, oh shit, get me out, I'm stuck. Right there. But yeah, the deck is good. I can do yoga on here. I can sip coffee, enjoy the view, or just lay here. This is the Weeboos. So when I'm parked in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I need some signal for my work, Wi-Fi, internet, or whatever. I'll just flip this up, and it just stay up like this. So it's really freaking easy. And when I'm on the road, I would just lash it down and it just stay down like that. Right here is, you know, the blackout curtain. So you open them, you close them for privacy reason. It's also kind of nice because um, when you park out in the sun and the cockpit get really hot, just flip this over. Up here I just keep a bunch of shit that I, you know, don't know where to put them. They're either too big or too small or whatever. Just put them right up there. Kind of forgot about this part right here. This is the command center. I got a, you know, battery monitor and this one is switched the, you know, inverter on and off. Honestly, I never turn this off because my fridge is AC power, so it always on. And then candle for making shit smell kind of nice in here. Got a really, really generic fucking sign. Well, I guess the next step is just to live life a little and just enjoying this chapter of my life right now. It's just being young and just be able to just travel, you know, explore and learn more as much as I can. Go from there. Definitely pursue the things that you love something that you want to do, dream big, have a plan, and execute. And then it will become a reality. Like honestly, I didn't think this was like possible, but apparently it is. So, a little in disbelief right now, but I'm really fucking stoked. Big shout out to like my friends and family that actually support me along the journey. Would not be possible without you guys. Thank you so much, it means a lot. If anybody uh, travel, and want to like hit up adventure, doing adventurous things and go live life a little bit in this fucking box. Let me know, hit me up. It's gonna be fun. I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this chapter. Let's go. All right, over and out.